So today we're in the Hardening Off Tunnel and um, I spent a couple of days with my sister just rejigging the whole area. It was, had become quite overgrown with plants and uh, we just couldn't manage the weed control. So as you can see underneath we've put uh, Mypex and under the Mypex we also have another layer of landscape fabric just to keep the weeds away. So we're hoping this will do the trick and um, it can just make the space way more um, amenable for what we want. You can see at the sides here I've just put some uh, chippings, composted chippings and at the very edge we have some lovely ferns that have been grown that we didn't really want to take out so it's just a really nice environment in here. So this is the hardening off tunnel and the main reason you would use a hardening off tunnel is basically it gives some protection for the plants until they go outside into the elements. Um, at this time of the year now I'm just uh, the first plants that I've moved out of the polytunnel. So I have kale and I also have broccoli that I need to bring over. So these guys, um, because they're cold loving plants, they don't need a huge amount of time in the polytunnel. So once they have developed about four of their true leaves, um, I move them outside because you don't want them to get stretched. You can see here this little heart shaped leaf is the first seed leaf and that will die off. And these are the true leaves. Um, so this is the first one that I brought out to the hardening off tunnel. And I'll, because they're frost hardy, I'll leave them out here until they go out into the ground in probably another two or three weeks. Um, in addition here, you can see just some stuff I've been repotting at this time of the year, some herbs, some thyme, oregano, and we, I just repotted um, just to give them a little bit of life. And also here you can see this is Keria japonica. It's a beautiful uh, shrub that um, I propagated last year just from cuttings. So again, I just left it. I had it originally in the polytunnel and last, I think that's, these are a year old now. So I potted them up probably late summer and now they're ready to be potted on again or put out into the garden somewhere. So um, yeah, they're just a lovely, plant uh, just you know and it's always nice to try a few different cuttings and um, in addition here you can see I have some yew seeds that um, germinated now these were seeded the 1st of February 2019 so they take a whole year of stratification before they'll germinate but again you can see here there's quite a good rate of germination they were under the bench and I also had a layer of netting over them just to protect them for the year. But So I just took the netting off the other day and to my surprise they have germinated. So again, I leave these guys in here until they uh, come on a little bit more and then I'll transplant them on into small pots. So again here we have just some black netting which does need to be redone at some point. But you get the general idea that just a little bit of shade and coverage will help your plants before you put them outside.